Animal X is going ghost hunting, but no place in Britain is said to be more haunted than Pengasic Castle in the Cornish countryside. Let's meet some of Pengasic's human ghost hunters. This is Ron Kirby. He's been ghost busting for decades. Explain to us how you go about communicating with, with spirits. What I would do is I would stand with my rods and I'd say, well, if there's an active presence anywhere at all in here, turn at least one of the rods for 360 degrees. Now, I'm not faking that. So it's 360 degrees. And then I'll say, well, give me the direction of the nearest presence. Well, the nearest presence is here. Take me to that presence. Now, that's where Hannah is. The room we're standing in is the most haunted room in the most haunted place in Britain. Eight spirits are known to regularly visit here. Not all of them are human. Quite often, a cat has been felt rubbing against people's feet. And um, when they look down, of course, there's nothing there, so it's a spectral cat, if you like. And occasionally, we get a dog. Now, that dog, sometimes, you can smell it quite strongly. Um, when we've doused for it, if we feel it around, and I just go down with my rods, my rods will come together when we come on top of it. Uh, so we're looking at an animal of about that height, about the size of a small spaniel. And you can smell its for wet fur. Um, we've had the clicking of claws on wood on the floor. And we've also had the sighing of a dog. You know, when a dog flops down, it goes sighs. And, it, and we've had that. So do you believe animals have the ability to sense I think paranormal? animals have animals have a greater ability than us for the simple reason um, you hit a, you hit the nail on the head yourself when you said you're a scientist and a skeptic. If you can't see it, smell it, taste it, hear it, or feel it, it doesn't exist according to science, does it? But we've all got what animals have got, and that's this little thing in here called the third eye, or the intuition, or the sixth sense. Animals have still got it, but the trouble is we live in such a materialistic world that we push it into the background, and then a few more generations it'll be gone altogether. So what do you believe keeps the animal spirits here at Pingasee? I think the animal spirits are kept here because they've got an attachment to one of the other presences that are here, one of the human presences, or discarnate beings, if you like. In other words, a human being without a body. If there's an active animal presence anywhere at all in this room, turn at least one of the rods through 360 degrees. Nothing. Is there an active animal presence anywhere at all in this room? Well, that's my no. Oh. Do you think I could have a go at those dousing sticks? Yeah. Be my guest. Think hold, it'll work for me? Get, get, get hold of them. The Do bite. I hold it with my thumbs? Oh, just rest your thumbs against the back just to steady just them. Just like that. Get your hands around them. They won't bite you. Okay. Bodies with the part. Put your thumb on them. Tips just very, very slightly down. Relax, you tense. So, what are you going to ask first? Should I just ask? Ask if you're a woman. Am I a woman? I think you're a woman, don't you? <laughs> I'm not moving that at all. That's quite remarkable. <laughs> I can't explain that. There are stranger things in heaven and earth. And you've just seen some of them. This is Verdley Wood, where legend has it the last brown bear in Britain was killed. The legend says that the bear was beaten to death here and that every Christmas day, its ghostly cries can be heard echoing through Verdley Woods. We're here to see if we can detect the spiritual presence of this unfortunate animal. See you next time on Animal X.